Well, to start with the new topic in the field of operative dentistry is direct filling gold. Direct filling gold is the pure form of the gold which is seated at the temperature of 1063 degrees Celsius and the carat of the gold used for restoring the cavity is 24 carats of the gold. Now to classify it, it is classified into three types. Number one is foil, number two is electrolytic precipitate also known as matte gold and number three is powder. Foil is uh, further classified into sheets, ropes, cylinders, laminated and platinized. Sheets can be cohesive or non-cohesive. Cohesive form of the gold is the most suitable form of the gold for compaction as there is no layer of the surface contaminants and the addition or the cohesion occurs very nicely or fairly. Whereas in the non-cohesive gold there is no cohesive forces or atomic attraction between the particles due to the layer of the surface contaminants. Electrolytic precipitate is further divided into matte which forms the bulk matte foil or alloy. Then comes the powder form. Now, pure gold is a noble metal which provides the best restoration to the small tooth defects. That is in cases of small pit caries or fissure caries or proximal caries. We usually restore it by pure gold formation as it has many advantages. Then gold foil is manufactured by beating pure gold into sheets. The measurement of the sheets formed are 4 into 4 inches or 10 into 10 centimeters. Pure gold is manufactured by the manufacturers by beating them into the sheets of these measurements. Whereas while compaction into the restoration, we roll the sheets, make them into cylindrical form, then we form a roll of it and then we compact or condense them to the cavity of a restoration. Now, the properties of pure gold, it is highly soft with brinyl hardness number 25. This is very important from an objective point of view. Brinyl hardness number of pure gold can be asked and the various options can be given. The right is 25. Then, gold has high tarnish and corrosion resistance, which is again very advantageous to the cavity or the, for the caries to reoccur that it is most noble of the all metals it is malleable that is can be drawn into sheets as well it is ductile that is it can be drawn into wires as well it is weldable at room temperature that is it can be cold welded this is the most important and the most advantageous property of the pure gold that we don't need certain conditions or the environmental conditions for welding of the gold it can be very well welded at the room temperature itself then it has excellent marginal integrity and biocompatibility as well. The second topic that we are going to discuss is desorption, annealing or decassing. What happens when a pure gold is kept in an environment is that certain gases such as ammonia, nitrogen, sulfur dioxide as well as water vapor, they get absorbed on the surface of the gold which makes them non-cohesive, that is non-bondable, non-compactable in the cavity. Because these gases are absorbed on the cavity, so there is no atomic attraction or the cohesion forces which makes gold non-cohesive at last. Then, while restoring the pure gold into the cavity, what we do is we heat it over the flame of the ethanol or an electric annealer that is based on the type of the gold form used. And then by heating it, by the method of annealing, we remove or we get rid the gold of its surface contaminants and then we restore the pure gold into the cavity in its cohesive form. So the effects of cold working such as strain hardening, low ductility and distorted grains, they can be reversed by heating the metal as we said before. It removes the surface contaminants and makes gold cohesive for compaction. Now as I said before, based on the form of the direct gold, it can be of gold foil, gold dent or electroloy. There are different methods of degassing or annealing of all these direct gold forms. In case of gold foil, we anneal it by bulk annealing on mica tray. Or in case of gold dent, we anneal it with the help of ethanol frame. The blue inner core of the ethanol flame is very useful and we burn or we anneal the gold dent in the blue inner core of the fire of the ethanol frame. Then electroloy, it is degassed by electric annealing. These are all the synonyms of annealing that is desorption, annealing and degassing. Now comes the electroloy. Electroloy, it is an electrolytic precipitate of gold which is 
mixed with the calcium the concentration of the calcium used is 0.1% it produces the hardest the stronger restoration by dispersion strengthening electrolyte is the modification of the direct form of the gold which is the strongest due to incorporation of the calcium in it and smaller the neighborhood of the condenser greater is the force of uh, delivered to the uh, restoration that is the force delivered it is inversely proportional to the square of the diameter that is smaller the neighborhood more will be the force that will be provided to the restoration for its compaction and lesser will be the number of whites at last then the forces of condensation that must be at 45 degree to the cavity walls and floors and 90 degree to the previously condensed gold that is to the walls and the floors while compaction there should be angled the condensation forces should be at 45 degree and uh, it should be 90 degree to the previously condensed gold that is done a step before then a very important term is known as stepping stepping it refers to a process of pure gold condensation where each time condenser overlaps half of the previous compaction as gold is compacted in increments so the first increment is placed it is compacted as the second increment is placed it is compacted by keeping half of the forces on the earlier compaction of the gold done or on the previous compaction so the condenser overlaps the half the previous conception which compaction which creates a steps in the gold uh, restoration so that's why as the name suggests it is known as stepping compaction proceeds from center to periphery forming a saucer shaped restoration that is there is high amount at the periphery and a bit smaller amount in the center which forms a saucer shaped or a u shaped restoration next comes the type of gold and its use number 1 is the matte gold that forms the bulk filler mostly it is used in the restoration of the cavity then comes the gold foil as the name suggests foil might be a very thin layer of the gold precipitate present so it is used for the external surface veneering and then comes the matte foil matte is used for veneering of the gold restorations and then is electrolyte the strongest and the hardest form which incorporates calcium in 0.1 concentration with the gold alloy restoration it is used in core and finishing of the restoration then comes the gold dent gold dent is a type of powdered or granular gold marketed originally by morgan hastings corporation but later by williams gold refining corporation this can be as an objective that who marketed gold dent various names can be given so initially or originally it was morgan and later it was modified by williams gold refining corporation in new york gold dent is also known as ez gold it is a powder form of the gold which refers to the gold pellets with a wax coating that is burned off before compaction how it differs from the sheets of the gold is that it contains a powder form and the powder are co- covered by the wax so it is heated half to 1 inch above ethanol frame that is it is not fully incorporated into the frame or the blue inner core of the flame but it is kept at half to 1 inch above the ethanol flame as the wax can produce a bright flame and it can melt so a pure gold form is obtained then pellet becomes dull red so that means all the non cohesive properties of the gold are rid of and the gold is ready for compaction as well in cavity preparation the external walls are parallel the facial lingual walls are parallel to each other in cases of gold restoration whereas mesial distal walls can be diverging so principles of compaction of gold are that number one weld the gold into a cohesive mass as we have discussed a lot into it in detail before and next is wedge as much as gold as possible into the tooth preparation that indirectly means compaction of the gold so that it is free of voids and there is no micro leakage or any problems occur in the gold restoration again gold is indicated in class 1 class 2 class 4 and class 5 cavities the contraindications of direct filling gold due, due to its very high modifications are as follows number 1 in cases of very large pulp chambers it is contraindicated it, in severely periodontally weak teeth it is again contraindicated in case of low economics in physically challenged as it requires long sitting time and in root canal treated tooth because the tooth becomes brittle 
the other the disadvantage of the gold is that it is highly unesthetic in appearance so with this we are done with the direct filling gold i think this is more than relevant that is required in this topic so view this learn this all the points learn it point wise point and this is enough for clearing of your mds exam in this topic that is direct filling gold thank you